Welcome to my story nights. Tonight, I shall read a three-part series of the romantic short story, The Algorithms of Love. Enjoy listening. Part 1. The Unconventional Matchmaker Sarah Carter sat in her cozy apartment, surrounded by the soft glow of computer screens. The room was a sanctuary of numbers, data, and lines of code. As a brilliant data scientist, Sarah's mind thrived on complexity, patterns, and calculations. But there was one area where her analytical skills seemed to fail her. Love. She had always been successful in her career, known for her innovative solutions and groundbreaking algorithms. Yet, her romantic life remained stagnant. It wasn't for a lack of trying. Sarah had been on countless dates, explored dating apps, and even considered matchmaking services, but nothing seemed to work. As she stared at her laptop screen, Sarah's thoughts drifted to the one thing that seemed elusive to her, a deep, meaningful connection with someone. She knew that love couldn't be reduced to formulas and equations, but her scientist's mind couldn't help but wonder if there was a way to increase her odds. One evening, after a particularly disappointing date, Sarah found herself lost in thought. What if she could create an algorithm that could predict the perfect match for her? After all, she had access to vast amounts of data about human behavior, psychology, and relationships. Maybe, just maybe, she could use her skills to crack the code of love. The idea sparked a fire within her. She quickly opened a new document and began jotting down ideas. Compatibility scores, personality traits, shared interests. The possibilities were endless. Sarah worked late into the night, fueled by a newfound determination. She was going to create the algorithm of love. Weeks turned into months, and Sarah's apartment became a whirlwind of data points, graphs, and calculations. She analyzed relationship studies, conducted surveys, and even considered factors like astrological signs and favorite ice cream flavors. This was her grand project, a mission to finally find love in a world of algorithms. Finally, after countless sleepless nights, Sarah's algorithm was ready. It was a masterpiece of data science, a creation that could predict compatibility with remarkable accuracy. The algorithm had the potential to revolutionize the dating world, and Sarah was both excited and nervous to put it to the test. She decided to start with her friends. Using their profiles and preferences, she ran the algorithm and compared its predictions with their current partners. The results were astonishing. The algorithm was right more often than not, and her friends were intrigued by the concept. Word spread quickly, and soon, Sarah's algorithm was in high demand. Friends of friends, colleagues, and even acquaintances were eager to try it out. Sarah's reputation as a matchmaker grew, and she found herself inadvertently becoming the cupid of algorithms. As Sarah continued to find, tune and improve her algorithm, she watched as relationships bloomed and couples found happiness together. It was rewarding knowing that her skills were helping people connect on a deep level. Yet, amid all the success, there was a nagging question in the back of her mind. Would the algorithm ever work for her? In the midst of her matchmaking frenzy, Sarah's own love life remained untouched. She had spent so much time focused on helping others that she had almost forgotten about her own quest for love. But as she looked at the couples around her, she couldn't shake the feeling that she was missing out on something special. As the days turned into nights, and the algorithm churned out more matches, Sarah realized that maybe, just maybe, there were certain things that couldn't be predicted by data. Maybe love was more than shared interests and personality traits. Maybe it was about connection, chemistry, and the magic that happens when two souls meet. As she closed her laptop one evening, Sarah made a decision. She was going to use the algorithm for herself but she was also going to step out of her comfort zone and embrace the unknown. After all, even a data scientist couldn't predict every twist and turn of life's journey. Little did Sarah know that her experiment would lead her down a path filled with unexpected encounters, 
surprising connections, and a deeper understanding of what it truly meant to find love. The journey was just beginning, and Sarah was about to discover that sometimes the most meaningful equations are the ones that can't be solved with numbers alone. Part 2. The Unpredictable Heart With her decision made, Sarah embarked on a new chapter of her life. Armed with her algorithm of love, she was determined to put it to the ultimate test, finding her own perfect match. But she also knew that this journey was about more than just data. It was about opening her heart to the unpredictable nature of love. Sarah's first step was to create her own profile within the algorithm. She answered the questions honestly, revealing her interests, values, and aspirations. As she looked at her completed profile, a mix of excitement and nervousness washed over her. Could her algorithm truly find her the right match? Or was love destined to remain a mystery? The algorithm worked its magic, processing the data and generating a list of potential matches. Sarah meticulously reviewed each profile, assessing compatibility scores, shared hobbies, and personal preferences. It was a strange sensation, using her own creation to navigate the world of romance. One particular profile caught her eye. Michael Hayes. He was an artist with a passion for traveling and a deep love for nature. As Sarah read through his answers, she found herself drawn to his spirit of adventure and his thoughtful insights. The algorithm predicted a high compatibility score, and yet Sarah felt a mixture of excitement and trepidation. With her heart racing, Sarah composed a message to Michael, introducing herself and explaining her unconventional approach to matchmaking. She was surprised when he replied just hours later, intrigued by the idea and genuinely interested in getting to know her. Their conversation flowed effortlessly, and Sarah felt a connection that went beyond the algorithm's calculations. As the days turned into weeks, Sarah and Michael continued to exchange messages and learn about each other's lives. They discovered shared interests, debated thought, provoking topics, and shared stories of their pasts. It was a gradual unfolding of two souls connecting on a deeper level, one that Sarah couldn't have predicted, even with the most advanced algorithm. Sarah's friends watched with both excitement and concern. They were rooting for her, but they also worried that relying too heavily on the algorithm might hinder the natural progression of a relationship. Sarah understood their concerns, but she was determined to see where this journey would lead. One day, Michael suggested a spontaneous adventure, a hiking trip to a nearby mountain range. It was an opportunity for them to meet in person for the first time. Sarah's heart raced at the thought, and she knew that this was a pivotal moment. She had always been a woman of logic and calculations, but now she was entering the realm of the unknown. The day of the hike arrived, and Sarah felt a mixture of excitement and nervousness. As she stood at the trailhead, waiting for Michael, she realized that this was a moment she couldn't quantify or predict. She was stepping into a world where algorithms held no power, the world of human connection. When Michael arrived, their eyes met, and Sarah felt a spark of recognition. It was a feeling that no algorithm could replicate, a simple, unexplainable chemistry that only the heart could understand. As they hiked through the rugged terrain, their conversation flowed effortlessly, and Sarah felt a sense of ease she had never experienced before. As the sun began to set and they reached the summit, Sarah looked out at the breathtaking view. She realized that love wasn't something that could be programmed or predicted. It was a journey of discovery, vulnerability, and embracing the unexpected. Her algorithm of love had brought her to this point, but it was her own heart that would guide her from here on. The journey with Michael was just beginning, and Sarah knew that it was unlike anything she had ever experienced. It wasn't about data points or compatibility scores. It was about connection, laughter, and the beautiful messiness of human emotions. As they watched the sunset together, Sarah felt a profound sense of gratitude for the algorithm that had led her to this moment. But more importantly, she felt a renewed sense of wonder for the unpredictable, beautiful journey of love.
Little did Sarah know that her adventure with Michael would lead her to unexpected places, challenging her beliefs and redefining her understanding of love. The algorithm of love had brought them together, but it was their hearts that would determine their destiny. And as they stood side by side, gazing at the horizon, Sarah realized that sometimes the most magical moments were the ones that couldn't be calculated or foreseen. Part 3. Embracing the Unpredictable Months had passed since Sarah and Michael had reconnected on the park bench. Their connection deepened with every passing day. They spend hours talking, laughing, and sharing their dreams. Their conversations ranged from the profound to the mundane, and they found comfort in each other's presence. One evening, as they walked hand in hand by the river, Michael turned to Sarah with a smile. You know, Sarah, I never thought I'd find love in such an unexpected way. Our meeting on that park bench feels like it was orchestrated by some higher power. Sarah nodded, her eyes sparkling with affection. It's true. Our lives took unexpected turns, but those twists and turns led us right to each other. As the seasons changed, so did their relationship. Michael's work trips became opportunities for Sarah to explore her own passions. She joined a local art class and began to rediscover her love for painting. Michael encouraged her every step of the way, admiring her talent and dedication. One evening, under a sky full of stars, Michael took Sarah's hand and said, Sarah, we've navigated this journey of love with openness and honesty. I have a question to ask you. Sarah's heart raced as she looked into his eyes. What is it, Michael? With a smile, he got down on one knee and pulled out a small box. Sarah, will you marry me? Tears welled up in Sarah's eyes as she gazed at the man she had come to love so deeply. Yes, Michael. A thousand times. Yes. Their love story born in the realm of algorithms and technology, had transcended the virtual world and found its place in reality. The once doubtful Sarah and the skeptical Michael had embraced the uncertainty of love and discovered its magic. The wedding was a celebration of love, surrounded by friends and family who had witnessed their journey. As they exchanged vows, Sarah and Michael couldn't help but think about how an algorithm had led them to that very moment. In the years that followed, their love story continued to unfold with all the twists and turns that life had to offer. They faced challenges and celebrated triumphs, always holding on to the love that had brought them together. Their story became an inspiration to those around them, a reminder that love could find its way into the most unexpected corners of life. In the end, Sarah and Michael learned that the algorithm of love wasn't about predictability. It was about embracing the unpredictable and choosing to write their own story, one filled with love, laughter, and endless possibilities. And so, in the ever-changing landscape of life, Sarah and Michael stood side by side, facing the future with hearts full of hope and the unwavering belief that love could indeed be found in the most unexpected places. The End